What's up, Aquarius? All right, so look, as I was getting into you guys' energy space, um, the entire collective was getting this whole shift of energy where a lot of people have overcome narcissistic relationship. You've overcome selections and choices that weren't the best for you. You've learned certain lessons. You've overcome certain barriers. You've crossed certain obstacles. And now there's like this huge energy shift where like rewards are being given and you are starting to see um, your vibration rise and the people that you are attracting are a lot different due to that, okay? Now, you guys have someone who is either admiring you from afar or someone who you've already dated. And the thing for you was like, there are things about yourself that you don't quite see or know that are so like attractive, sexy, and appealing to someone else. It's like all the things about you that they really, really like, you aren't even aware of, okay? Like you just, just the way you, I was just scratching, I was just scratching my eyebrow. It's like, man, the way they scratch their eyebrow is so cool. You know, I ain't gotta be nothing as, as, as corny as that, but it's, you know, it's just the stuff that you're not aware of. You know, maybe it's the way your lip curls on the side and you didn't know. Maybe it's, you know, it's a lot of things about you that you wouldn't even consider cute or sexy or funny or, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think twice about that. But this is some of the things that make you like different or appealing to someone, okay? So this could be an ex, this could be someone new, like I said, some type of admirer. So we're gonna go to the Immensity, Immensity Oracle deck right here. And we're gonna look at three different traits about you or the way this person perceives you and why they're looking at you like this. This is like all the stuff you never knew was even sexy or appealing about you, you know? Um, and then what I wanna do, then I wanna pull from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle to see what else is up. Okay, so this first one here we get, I create harmony. All right, so maybe you're a harmonious person or they see your life as harmonious. Um, I'm saying like, like the person that this is, they may deal with a lot of drama or conflict, even if it's not theirs, they may just be surrounded by it, whether it be at work or family situations or friends who are just goofies. Like whatever the case is, when they look at you, there's more so of a balance, there's more so harmony, there's more so um, things just being peaceful and decency and in order. Like you just got things um, flowing, okay? Uh, you're the creator of your own world and they like how you put things together. It's like um, you make things look easy. Let's just put it like that. Whereas other people may struggle, other people can't do or produce or they have to use a lot of strength or it takes a lot of manpower to do what you do. It's just kind of like you do it like whatever, like it's nothing. Like oh, I just lift my finger and it's done, you know? So let's see what else they like. I benefit with gratitude. Wow. You give them a reason to be grateful. Oof. Thank you, Spirit. I didn't even know how I was going to articulate that. Um, again, I'm feeling like it's connected to this person's past or the drama. It's like you give me something to look forward to. Or you give me some type of hope. But again, I'm feeling like the grateful, like gratitude. Like you give me a reason to be grateful. Because whereas I can look at this. And I can, you know, feel some type of way on a low vibrational level. I can look over here in my life and I can look at that on a low vibrational level. If I look at you, it's like, well, at least I got that. You know, at least I got her or at least I got him or at least there's hope. Or at least I see someone, like if you're around people who aren't so successful, they look at you and they say, well, at least you're successful. And at least if you're doing it, then I know that it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, there are things that you can do for this person that maybe they would be really grateful to receive from you or like their benefits to being around you that they would be really grateful to have. Okay. Um, if you are already with this person, I feel like the withdrawal of these benefits helps them to appreciate them even more, like be more grateful for what they had. And, um, if this is someone who is like looking to make their way into your life, it's kind of like they're grateful for the opportunities that you have created because, you know, some way, somehow they're going to benefit too. And I'm not feeling it like a use you type energy. I'm feeling it like a, um, we can, 
do this thing together. There's like benefit for both of us, okay? Let's see what else we got. I affirm that all life is sacred. Wow. So you see the beauty in maybe people or things that the average person would just toss it to the side. Um, you take things seriously or you choose the things that are high vibrational. And for whatever reason, this person sees you as like, I don't want to say, um, like, let's just say cultured. Okay. That's the best word that I can, that is, I'm hearing cultured, diverse, uh, universal. You're cultural, you're diverse, you're universal. You're all about where you're from and what you do and what your um, community is. You're diverse because you can get along with each and every single type of race, ethnicity, uh, income level, height, weight, background, okay? And universal, same thing. You can get a, you can, you, you know, you can pull from the Akashic records. You can go deep when it comes to conversations. You are a spiritual being and you know that you can manifest using your spirit to create a beautiful like life and a beautiful world. This person just sees you as deep. It's like, I got to use all these words and use my arms to help me understand. But this is how they see it. It's like, I'm seeing, you ever seen when somebody try to explain the universe and they start getting all those numbers and all of those equations start popping up and a whole chalkboard be filled with all the different numbers and the equations and the parentheses and the lines and all the, blah, blah, blah. that's how I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it like, um, you, you know, when they was doing the movie about sending the people to the moon. And it was on the chalkboard and it was all those numbers and all of them equations and stuff. I feel like this person sees you as somebody who can sit there and do all of that. Like if they said, okay, come up with a plan and all of the equations to send that rocket to the moon. Like you will be the one with the chalk. Dang, Aquarius. Okay, let's use a Vintage Wisdom Oracle card to see what else is going on here. What other insights can we get? Divine timing. Okay, so it's only a matter of divine time before this thing comes on in, before this person comes in. For those of you who have been waiting, your confirmation is, hold on now, now. we got this. Okay, Spirit said we got this over here on our team. My ear, oh, thank you. My ear is ringing now. Okay, confirming, coming on in. We coming on in. Divine time is at play, the cosmic dance. You know, they're doing their choreographed piece and it's almost time for you okay yeah but divine time is at play when it comes to this thing here and it could be someone from the past um divine time is bringing them back around again uh for example you just go into the gas station and this person just so happen to pull up to the same gas station at the same time boom divine time did that you couldn't have, you couldn't have did that you couldn't have did that uh and if it's somebody new same thing you decided that day you know what i'm just uh I'm going to just run up the street and do whoop, whoop, whoop. Another person, ah, today I'm just, da, da, da. there you go. Now y'all ain't each other's face. Divine timing. You couldn't have, you couldn't have did it. You can't plan this, okay? Can I just say it like that? You take your hands off the steering wheel because you cannot control what happens next, okay? Let's see what we have at the center of the reading for Aquarius. Ooh, six of air. Now, just like I was telling Cancer, some of y'all are still moving on and getting away completely from certain um, energies. Let's say, for example, you was at a haunted house, which I don't, I don't, I would love to be in a haunted house. I would let I would boy, man, and go to be talking and kicking it. Anyway, let's say you left a haunted house, right? You made it out. You in your car and you driving towards wherever it is you're going. Right. So a lot of y'all are in the driving towards wherever it is you're going. Right. So the worst is behind you, basically. So a lot of you guys are leaving situations where the worst is behind you. Things that you've gone through in your past, you're not going to have to face them anymore because you passed those tests. OK, so your past represents you passing your test. OK, that's what it represents for this point forward. And from now on, you're being advised to only think of your past as a collection of memories, a collection of experiences. Your emotions, who you are today is no longer attached. Detach it. Leave it back there. Okay? Because it's not who you are anymore. It's not. If you were who you are today, back then, you wouldn't have made a lot of those choices. 
But thank God you are who you are today through divine timing, all that knowledge, skill, information. Now imagine all the choices you got to make because you got away from that. When you're in a haunted house, you got to fight. You, you ain't got to fight no more. Imagine that. Imagine living a life where you don't have to fight or struggle or through, you know, certain obstacles anymore. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see. To the earth. A balancing act. Still figuring it out. A lot of you guys, again, you're still in that you're driving phase. You're driving, which is good because you're making progress. You're moving forward and you're getting a lot further than you think. Cancer got this exact same card, too. Y'all getting more rewards. There are more rewards. More rewards. Just say it with me. More rewards. One more time. More rewards. There are more rewards coming in for you now because of the stuff that you left behind. Okay, you, you toss something away and now something else is coming in. Um, also, new sources of income, okay? Um, there was something else I was doing with this card as far as the person. Oh, the person sees you uh, doing multiple things and it's lucrative. Um, they're trying to balance a lot and they feel like what I was getting early with that benefit, they feel like if they can just come on in and they can just maybe help you balance something or help you do something or... um. You help them do something. It's a benefit some way, somehow between two people. Also, I'm seeing it as this. Now, this is for 2% of y'all. I don't know. Somebody from your past is looking at what you're doing now. Keyword, because I keep getting that. We leave in the past. In the past, it's who I am now. Some of the people from your past are looking at who you are now, and they want to come with their hands and be of assistance. Okay? So you got people who want to be of assistance who see you doing something that maybe they weren't always there to lend a helping hand. You did. Let's see what's going on in the um, deep root. Ten of Earth. Okay. I feel like Aquarius, this is it. Oh, get excited, get excited. It's like you've been waiting for this. The Ten of Earth also represents that family a solid foundation. Again, I keep feeling like someone wants to come in and help you build or they feel like you can help them build something. Um, because we started with the two of earth where maybe it was just you or maybe it's just two of y'all coming together trying to build some empire. But before it's all said and done, you get the ten of earth, which is that generational wealth. Come on, say it with me. Y'all know I love it. Generational wealth. Uh, we're talking about that first generation millionaire or having that legacy to pass down to the next generation, the next generation, the grandkids, great, 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 great grandkids. All of that kind of stuff is being built. That legacy building life is here. And you have the person. That's what I keep feeling for a lot of people. You get the person now to help do that, okay? Don't mean you can't do it on your own. But listen, two heads are going to be greater than one when it comes to moving forward. Especially if it's from the divine. If it's from God and God said, this is your partner. You know, remember in kindergarten, we used to go on a field trip. This is your partner. And you got to hold that person's hand and you're going to experience this trip together okay it's your partner and so this is what's happening now you're getting prepared for your partner all right some of you guys may have had partners who were only there to teach you how to ride the kitty slide this person is coming to teach you how to ride the big roller coaster you know y'all going for the big kahootas now let's see what we got in the recent past the big kahootas okay Woo. the big kahootas the star card. So it's, it's, you know what I'm getting? It took a lot of faith. Oh, come on. Listen, some of y'all about to be rewarded because of your faith. How dare you have that audacity to believe that big? How dare you wish upon a star? But you did. And you know, funny thing about it. Sometimes dreams do come true. Wow, don't make me go into the Disney song when you wish upon a star now. Come on now. But a lot of you guys, it took faith. And we ain't talking about, we know all it takes is faith the size of a mustard seed. That's good. But yours was the size of an avalanche. Like, I don't care what nobody's saying. I don't care what failures I've had in the past that I've moved away from that no longer define me. Okay? I can still produce and manifest the future of my dreams. And this person may see you as a star or someone who's already on that trail. This person could already be on that trail as well. And they see you as someone high vibrational and who can carry out the mission, who can carry out the task. I want to go on to this. Maybe you guys had to um, be raised up to this position. You've been chosen as some type of star or the front runner. As I'm hearing, the front runner. The front runner. Uh-oh, Aquarius. And then, come on, now this is your... Aquarius. 
This is the Aquarius card. Come on, y'all. It's all lining up. You see how that's aligning? Divine time. Let's talk about this uh, star card for the recent past. I respect the property of others. Wow. And I'm getting space, too. The space. Um, this person feels like they can leave their stuff around you or they can leave uh, their money around you. They can drop their wallet. They can leave their phone. Um, they can leave you at their house. And also, this may be like a star or a celebrity and they feel like they can trust you in their world, okay? Some of you guys, especially with this 10 of earth thing here, you may actually manifest someone who's like, I'm gonna just say it, rich. You, okay, and successful. And maybe with the star card, maybe even famous. This person, like I'm saying, they have people around who may have been sketchy in the past or people who are sketchy around now and they gotta maneuver through like certain industries and stuff. But when they see you or they think of you or they know you, part of the reason like why they like you that you probably never even considered is because they can trust you with their stuff, okay? So why do they like me? I don't know why they like me because because my, my hair be looking crusty sometimes and my and my my toenails, you know, my polish be chipped and whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, forget all that. You loyal. Forget all that. You trustworthy. Forget all that. I can let my guard down around you. I can turn my back and know you're not going to stab me in it. Okay? I can leave my wallet right there and know that when I come back, all my cash going to be there. It might even be more cash in my wallet. You know? I can lend you my stuff and know that I'm gonna get it right back. You know, I don't know. They look at that's the that's the other part of for reasons you never even knew. That's another inside hidden clue. They may have people around in their past who like stole from them, but they don't get that from you at all. It's like they can drop their guard and just so like somebody can relax. And, but it's all material stuff. You know, you ain't gonna take their chain. You know. You ain't gonna go in their wallet. I just borrowed a few dollars. Like, nah. Oh, okay, wait. We're supposed to be in the headspace. Well, what's going on? What's been, what's crowning this entire thing? What's crowning? The full card. Okay, so we're taking this leap of faith. We're gonna take this chance of what? Aquarius. Okay, but also with divine timing. The divine timing is bringing in this brand new start, this brand new beginning. Um, and for some of you guys, you're going to have to jump into the love pool. With the fool card, it's usually someone um, like falling off a cliff, hoping that they land on their feet. So for some of you guys, you're going to take a chance falling in love. I don't like falling in love, but maybe um, jumping into love or, uh, you know, gliding into love. Yeah, maybe something like that, you know. Um, but it's, it's centered around love. It could also be a business too, though. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is talking about like that partnership. So that partnership don't necessarily have to be romantic, but it is two separate entities. I'm feeling the power of synergism, right? Where two separate entities or bodies come together and create an even more high vibrational energy. Okay. And y'all get ready to like y'all, y'all get to explore new stuff, explore new worlds. I'm even uh, getting that whole exploring new emotions. Um, I had a dream about a soulmate of mine that I never met on this planet. But when I tell you the feeling, I mean, this the feeling doesn't even exist on this planet. Just like they say in other realms or outside of our earth, there are more colors that we can't even imagine. Did you know there are more feelings that we've never experienced? And I'm talking about a love too. Man. Whew. Okay, anyway. Let's talk about Oh, and I said all that to say, Spirit is reminding me, some of y'all gonna have to open your heart to that. Like, the more you open your heart to love, faith, the possibility of all of that, the deeper this love thing is gonna go for you. It can only go as deep as you want it to. If you got a shallow love pool, that's as deep as you're gonna love, that's as deep as you're gonna feel it. But if you got a, what they say, an ocean of love, you let your heart be that big, that full, that open, Spirit is going to give you all that water to fill it up. It ain't going to be just no big dry ocean of sand. If you shall open your heart that big, I will give you the water to fill that ocean. So some of y'all better open your heart that big. Let's see what's up with this uh, near future. 
And I keep getting that Disney. Maybe some of y'all needs to go watch some Disney movies and get re-inspired with love and all that little fairy tale stuff, okay? Maybe it can happen for you. Let's see what's near future. Six of Earth. We got some more money, more money, more money. But this is also about giving and receiving, planting those seeds, and reaping that harvest. Again, I feel like a lot of things that are manifesting for you have come through your faith. OK, not uh, your faith the size of a mustard seed. As I'm saying with this, it's like if it was a mustard seed, we got to make it plural S mustard seeds. So even if your faith was small, you had multiple seeds of faith. OK, and this is what's going to reap your harvest. It's going to be in more than one area. Again, you manifesting a new person in your life, the power of synergism, y'all coming together and manifesting the energy and making it more high vibrational. You're going to attract more high vibrational things. When Beyonce was Beyonce, she was Beyonce. When Jay-Z was Jay-Z, he was Jay-Z. But when they came together, boy, a power couple, and they did even more. She she, she could have did the on the run tour. He could have did it. But together, they did that. You know what I'm saying? And some of y'all got y'all the Beyonce to your Jay-Z or the Jay-Z to your Beyonce or whichever, whoever your favorite twin flame or uh, power couple is, I'm catching that energy for you. But some people don't believe in that. So some people won't get that. Let us see um, what's in your fears or this person's fears. The four of water. Oh my God. Some of y'all could be dealing with cancer because cancer got this exact same card in the exact same position. Okay, we're talking about, because I told you, this energy is collective, where it's like admirers or people seeing people in different lights, or you attracting different, like more high vibrational people, people you ain't never attracted before, now suddenly got an eye for you for reasons you don't even know are attracted, right? But there's always that chance of rejection, right? It's like, I know I may have it all together. Ten of Pentacles, this person may have it all. They may have other people who swoon over them, but... If I don't want them and I want you, but I'm rejected by the one that I want, then it's like, dang, that 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 kind of borderline hurts. And this is an emotions card, so someone may be in their feelings. Someone doesn't want to uh, accept rejection. And this is a collective energy where all across the board, it's admirer season. And people are stepping forward. It's like spring is coming up. So a lot of things are about to be um, made new or renewed. Okay, it's a lot of new shifting energy. And this is no different. But again, there's always... That chance of rejection. That's how I feel this person feels. So let's see um, what you look like at this time. The Ace of Water. Love. Uh, the, the brand and beginning of a romantic relationship. Ace. We're starting this thing anew. Okay. We got the zero full card. We got the Ace. Another like zero or brand new beginning. Divine timing is at play. Um, they see you as feelings. Okay. Um. They have feelings for you, okay? Some of them may be experiencing feelings. Remember, I was just talking about their other feelings and other pl planets and all this kind of stuff that, that we don't even experience here yet. And I feel like this is coming from them. Like, I totally picked that up from them because it's like, well, the feelings that I feel for you are different. Like, this person, that whole demonstration, for goodness sakes, come through, spirit. That was for them. That was them talking to you. This is not about you opening your heart to the love and the, and the ocean. Blah, blah, blah. This is them. They ain't never done this before. They've never allowed for their heart chakra to be as open or as wide as the ocean. But literally, the ace of water, the person who can fill up this ocean, if they so dare to open it this big, is you. And they don't mind that for whatever reason I'm catching that. And they don't mind that because for in other areas of life, some people don't want, again, they just want a little, I'm going to just have my heart open just a little bit. It's going to be a shallow pool. That's as much as I'm giving and that's as much as I'll receive and I don't care. But with you, it's kind of like, no, let me try something different. Look at you opening heart chakras. Okay. Let's see what it is that is your hope or their hope. The five of earth. Okay. So the five of earth is talking about that lack. Uh, is talking about either lack or feeling left out in the cold. So someone's hoping, again, going back to this rejection, that they don't have to feel left out. Or maybe someone already feels left out. This may be for the percentage of you guys who 
um, have someone who you've shunned or that you've put out or that you don't have into like your physical world and then wanting to come back in. I'm feeling that whole spring renew for this one. So it's like something that already was starting over again. Okay, let's redo this. Um, replant those seeds. Let's start over in a sense. Um, for some of you all, this may be someone who you were friends with. I'm catching that vibe as well. This could be someone who you were friends with and you friend zone them. Okay. So it's like they wanted to be in, but the five of cups, they're feeling left out was like they got moved to a different zone. So some of you guys could have friend zoned somebody. So this person from the past is someone you friend zoned, or this is just someone who's on the outside looking in, into your world, uh, wanting to be a part of it. Okay. So, um, this is, this just then. Okay. Um, if some of you all have a business and it's not going well, it's like someone is saying they see where you're going wrong and they want to take you from this five of earth to the 10 of earth from the lack or like things being kind of in one stage and they want to help bring it to the next level. I feel like that may be the benefit too. It's like, look, this is what you got over here. That's cool. That's good. But if I step in and I add this, boom, you're going to multiply. Okay. Now that's always a plus. Anybody coming in willing to invest or teach you something? That's always a plus. All right, let's see how does this thing end? How are we ending this? Come on now, let's get a good, good shuffle. Come on. Messenger of Fire. So this is the Knight of Wands and traditional tarot representing the messenger, representing the news, the information. So something is coming in. So um, the Six of Earth was the seeds that you planted. You know, you have this harvest coming on in. Here comes the messages of the harvest. Here comes, um, for example, I'm saying like the paperwork before the reward. So let's say someone wrote you a letter and said, you just got employee of the month. Okay, you get a trophy and you get a, a gift card to your favorite restaurant, right? So you already know you got it, right? You just may not have the gift card yet in the plaque, okay? But you know you won, right? So that's how that feels. Um, saying for those of you all who've been planting seeds you've been having that faith uh you've been working on your own thing kind of being in your own world manifesting what you can on your own uh but then this is that news that intel coming in like listen you've officially graduated to the point of partnership where someone else is going to come in and y'all want to do this thing together now if you are already with somebody this is just showing y'all how this thing is playing out um also with this it's relating back to how we first started of how someone sees you. Someone sees you as this messenger of fire. Now, a lot of you guys watching this, you're going to, this is somebody, I'm going to just, I ain't trying to hurt your feelings, okay? But it seems as though a lot of you are about to track somebody who's doing better than you financially. Sorry. Because I know you're a boss, okay? But you're about to attract somebody who's doing even better, okay? So they may see you as a messenger of fire, which is more so a knight. Right. But again, your potential is far greater than anyone that they have interacted with for whatever it is that you do. Or it could just be the, your potential, your depth of love. Sure, you may not have this or you may not be doing that or you may not be on this level yet. But for what I require, that's why I'm hearing the word require for what they require. You hold that capacity. Only you have that amount of water to fill the ocean of love that they've decided to open up their heart chakra to. Okay. Um, with this, when I, when I was talking about the faith, this was them too. It's a dual energy. I'll check each other because just as much as you had to have faith that your life will pan out or things will work out or you're moving towards greatness, they had to have that same faith too. Okay. So you guys are moving towards each other. It's a beautiful thing. I want to end with one last vintage wisdom oracle card to sum it all up. And you get, ooh, choice. Uh-oh. So this is either them. Um, I, with cancer, it's kind of like the same reading. Because um, for them, nothing was yet set in stone. And for you all, you're getting choice as well. So you may have the choice to choose this person or um, this tour of earth could be talking about a different choice or a source of income or a job or a promotion or business uh, idea. You guys have a choice, okay? And I'm hearing wiggle room. 
also that to me is going with that divine timing. You don't have to make a choice right now. You got wiggle room and when things unfold the way that they're going to unfold in an unimaginable way that you can't even figure out, um, you're going to know which choice to make. Okay. So that is what I get for you Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your donations. I appreciate you all so much. And if you guys need a personal reading, go ahead and take a look in the description box to see how you should listen and format your questions. Then email me, waterstarvibes.gmail.com. Now, if you're not one of my subscribers, I would love to have you as one. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram at waterstarvibes, okay? So Aquarius, that's what I get for you guys. Thank you so much once again, and I'll see you all in the next video.